All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we're going to now preview the early window games from Sunday. Um, For my baseball people, uh, my friend just sent this in our uh, sports chat. So uh, Tyler Glass now. So I talked about this in the baseball podcast. Um, So uh, the Dodgers, they acquired him and uh, Manuel Margot from the Rays. So they also are working on an extension with him. So they're finalizing a five-year, $135 million contract with Glass now. So, um, maybe that takes them out of the Yamamoto sweepstakes. Not really. I don't think so. Um, but they at least, uh, got Glass now and they, uh, they got him signed, uh, long-term. So, all right. So let's get into these early window games here. So, um, we will start off with, so we got the Green Bay Packers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So both teams are 6-7. and seven. Packers coming off of a loss against uh, the Giants and the Bucks coming off of that big win against the Falcons to put them in first place in the wonderful NFC South. So uh, with this game, Packers are 3.5 point uh, favorites. It looks like there's snow in the forecast. Uh, obviously, the Bucks are returning to Green Bay uh, for the first time since they won that NFC Championship game with Tom Brady back in, uh, well, the 2020 season, but in 2021, which still haunts me to this day um, because, you know, I wanted to see Rodgers get to another Super Bowl, but that didn't happen. Uh, but now it's very different. we got Jordan Love and Baker Mayfield. So the Packers, we'll see. i, I got to see what the injury report is because if Christian Watson's out again, no Aaron Jones. I mean, I think uh, Dontavian Wicks was also on the uh, – the um the injury report as well like if a lot of these guys are playing not playing I might take the Bucks um because Jordan Love I mean I I think it also helped that the Giants defense well one thing is the Giants defense played well um you know Bucks defense has been okay um but you know it, it's uh if the Packers are missing a lot of their guys again might have to take the Bucks with the points right now I got the Packers by three uh winning by more than three but we'll see. Um, speaking of the Giants, uh, Giants are five and eight, taking on the six and seven New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. Uh, right now the line is, is having the Saints favored by five and a half. I'm going to be on the Tommy DeVito train for this week. I just, cause I don't trust the Saints. I, I don't trust the Saints. Uh, they have not played well this year. Offensively, they've just been wildly inconsistent. Um, you know, Derek Carr has been banged up. I think he's going to play. Uh, Chris Olave, you know, hasn't practiced this week, so we'll see if he ends up playing in this game. They st- still don't have Michael Thomas, so they're probably just going to have to ride Alvin Kamara for this game. But I feel like the Giants' defense, they could keep it close, for- maybe force a turnover or two. Um, Tommy DeVito, if he plays mistake-free football, Saquon Barkley, the last time he played in New Orleans, he had a big game, you know, that overtime win they had back in 2021. So I think the Giants will keep it close within the number. Uh, I was silly to think the Panthers would do that. Um, so I uh, I will take the Giants with the points. Then we go to the Falcons and the Panthers. Speaking of the Panthers, they are three-point underdogs at home against the Falcons. I take the Falcons in this matchup. Um, because I just... All right, well, here's the thing. I don't trust the Falcons either, but I the Panthers just cannot score points. They can't. And they had their opportunities against the Saints. They had plenty of opportunities. You know, they were down, I think they were down 14-3. to They could have made it a one-possession game. You know, I mean, they still, I think, actually, did they even get points out of that drive? Because Miles Sanders had a big run that got them to the two, and then they just got they got pushed back. Um, You know, that game could have been closer, but they just, they could not take advantage of some of their opportunities. Um, weather right now does not look nice. Uh, there's rain in the forecast. There's rain in the forecast for a lot of these games. So more bad weather on the way. We've been getting hit hard with bad weather. But I don't know. For me, the Falcons are, are the better team. I think they should just they should win by more than three. But who knows? Um, so I, I'll take them. Then we got the Bears and the Browns, which could be a very interesting matchup. Now, Justin Fields, he made his first career start against the Browns back in uh, 2021. And fun fact, so I <laughs> so in my Dynasty League that year, because that night, now we've seen some of the games that Rodgers has played against the 49ers. 
against that defense, and it wasn't good. So what I did was I was like, all right, I'm going to start Justin Fields instead. And that was a very dumb move on my part. I think it was also just because I was like, you know, I, I think I, I was doing it despite Aaron Rodgers. Because I was like, you have, you have not played well against the Niners. I'm not starting you. And what happened? They had that uh, that dramatic win against the Niners, and Mason Crosby hit the game-winning field goal. Uh, and Rodgers hit those two passes to Devontae Adams. I mean, Rodgers had a great game. I think he had, what do you have, three touchdowns in that game? Two touchdowns? Something like that. He had a, he had a really good game. And, uh, I mean, I still ended up losing my matchup regardless, but, yeah, I so that, some fantasy stuff when it comes to that. But, um, yeah, so I like the Browns in this game. I, I'm, not, I'm not taking the Bears. I mean, the Bears, they beat, you know, the, the Vikings, which they, they won 12 to 10. You know, like, they, kicked, they just kicked field goals in that game. The Lions, you know, that was a good win, too. You know, they, they have been playing better. And it, it's not like... I, I shouldn't discount those wins because how they were playing earlier in the season, they look like one of the worst teams in football. They've been playing better. Their defense especially has been playing better, too. That trade to get Montez Sweat um, has panned out. And especially now because you got Joe Flacco, who's not a mobile quarterback. So, you know, if the Bears are, gonna, are applying pressure on him, you know, that could be an issue. But... Um, you know, and Fields, at least for Fields, he's a mobile quarterback. But the Browns got a good defense, too. They're at home. Flacco's been playing good. Um, I like the Browns to win this game and cover. And the Bears come back down to earth. All right, so now we got the Jets and the Dolphins. So a couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago when they played on Black Friday, I mean, that was, it was a blowout win for the Dolphins. But the Jets, they could have kept it close. Zach Wilson played good last week. I mean, is he going to replicate that? We'll see. Dolphins are banged up on the offensive line. They might have no Tyree Kill. And if that's the case, I mean, this defense should give Tua Tonga Vailoa a tough time. And I think the Jets keep it within the number. Number right now is 9.5. I think that's a lot of points, especially for this defense. Now, will I be surprised if the Jets get blown out? No, because that, that that's the thing. The, I pick the Jets all these weeks. I pick them against the Chargers, the Falcons. They don't cover. They don't cover against the Raiders. But now I pick now I against the Dolphins. Now I don't pick them last week, and they they score thirty points in the second half, which I didn't know they were capable of doing. Um, so I think they'll keep it close. Um, but I think the Dolphins still win. I'm not going to say the Jets are going to win. But I, I I think they'll cover. Dolphins still win. Then we go to the Texans and the Titans. Texans coming off of that rough loss against the Jets, like I just said. Um, Titans, that dramatic win against the Dolphins. I like the Titans to win this game. Right now the number is uh, the Titans are favored by three. I think in my spread pool it's like two and a half. I, I, think, I think the Titans win this game here because C.J. Stroud... Is missing a pair, is going to be missing some of his weapons. Um, no Tank Dell, obviously, and it looks like Nico Collins might not play either. So you're down your top two wide receivers. I think Dal Dalton Schultz is going to play in this game, so that helps. But um, I don't know. I, li I like the Titans in this game. I, th I think the Titans. Uh, I think the Titans take this one. I might switch it, depending on if Nico Collins plays or not. I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I think uh, I think take the Titans, and they also play better at home. So then we got uh, the final. Early slate game here, and that is the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the New England Patriots. It's Patrick Mahomes against Bailey Zappi this time around. Um, Chiefs obviously coming off of that loss against the Bills, and we all know about you know Kadarius Tony and you know him uh, lining up offsides. And actually, it happened again last night. I think Gerald Everett and he he did the same thing. So. It's not just the Chiefs. That just happens to the Chiefs. It happens to other teams. Because that because I think the Chargers were going for it on fourth down and Gerald Everett lined up off sides. And it just ugh. But um you know, Patriots also coming off a win against the Steelers. Right now the Patriots are uh an eight point underdog at home. Weather's not gonna be nice. There might be no Isaiah Pacheco once again for the Chiefs. Um I don't know. I, I feel like they get back on track here. I mean, I, I know... That, and listen, the Patriots have a good defense, but 
I, I, I think the Chiefs win by two scores. But, again, what do I know? So, um, excuse me, to run through it again. So I got the Packers, um, at least for now, covering the number. Giants, underdog covering. Falcons covering against the Panthers. Uh, Browns covering against the Bears. Jets, underdog covering against the Dolphins. Titans winning and covering against the Texans. And the Chiefs covering against the Patriots. I'll be honest, like, I don't like that I'm taking a lot of the favorites. And also the weather's bad in a lot of these games. So, but I don't know. I mean, you look at the... Pa- I mean, the, I feel like the Chiefs are going to get back on track. I mean, the Panthers can't score. Like, the, the Browns, I think, are better than the Bears. I think the one game... I don't know. I mean, the Bucks. I, I think, you know, if the Packers are missing a lot of their weapons, they could probably, you know, maybe cover the number. But I don't know. It's in the cold. I mean, does C.J. Stroud bounce back? Because I feel like when C.J. Stroud has a lot of his big games, they come on the, uh, they come at home. Because, yeah, they played at home three straight games. Well, then again, you also did beat the uh, the Bengals with Burrow. That was a big win. Um, I don't know. I might have to, I, 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 gotta, I gotta think about this. I gotta think about this. Um, yeah, because, and well, that's the other thing, too. I forgot about that because I'm looking at the injuries. Uh, CJ Stroud's in concussion protocol, so he might not even play in this game. So, if that's the case, then definitely taking the Titans. Well, that I think that's why the line's kind of moved up because it might be Stroud being out for this game. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm probably, again, I'm probably going to get my typical 7 8 this week. So, I, I just. Whatever, I, I'm I'm very bitter about last night losing that game because I listen I had the right I had the right team initially and then I sw- but that's the thing it's like there are ga- the games I switch I lose and then then the games I don't switch I lose. Whatever it's it is what it is at this point. Um, but yeah, when we come back from our uh, final break of the show because that's pretty much it with all the games uh, in the early window. Um, we're going to preview the late window games. Um, that's what we will get into uh, when we come back. And then that will be it for the show. Um, uh, this show is already uh, winding down pretty quickly. Um, but like I say, everything uh, everything goes fast. So, um, you know, got some uh, some big games in, uh, in uh, th- that slate as well. Um, so that's what we will get into when we, uh, when we return from our final break so that being said stick around and we'll be right back here on the gsmc football podcast <laughs> 